can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you What's up guys? Welcome back to we'll go back to another video. In today's video, we're actually doing hidden features. I know it's something like specifically. I know we're not actually building the card today, but I think it's nearly complete and I do believe I need I should make a hidden features video because there are a few things that are new about this card that 3 series doesn't have. So unlike my other videos, this isn't a vlog. Let's just get right into it. So first things first, coming around to the interior. So we got a lot of cool little quirks, a lot of little hidden things in this car. And the first thing has to be the cigarette lighter. And I bet you guys are probably saying, no, a cigarette lighter is up here. Yes, but there's another one down here that no one ever knows about. It's literally right over here, and you have to pull it down to see it. I don't know why it's literally all the way stuffed back there. It's not even like over here, it's all the way back there. So yeah, you guys do have a spare cigarette lighter right there for like a dash camera, whatever you guys wanna do, and just like wire the wires from back here. So they're all hidden, I think that's pretty cool. Also, most 650i's come equipped with a valet key and a, and a flashlight right here. People don't really know about these two things, and yeah, they're stored right here in your glove box compartment right next to your fuse box, so that's pretty cool. Also in the trunk here, there's this little door that opens and closes and I don't know if I can, yeah, there you go. You guys can see that. So basically, this door is normally closed, and a lot of people don't know that if you open this door, you can actually route things through your trunk. For example, like long blocks of wood, I don't know, golf clubs, whatever you want to have, you can actually stick it through there, and it just makes the trunk a lot bigger. Another thing to make these E64s a lot bigger, you can go ahead and just pull on this, and you can go ahead and just push that upwards, and you have so much more room. Now, obviously, when you do this, you may no longer uh, put down the roof, but uh, it's just the case if you need more storage, I'm pretty sure you can live without putting your roof down. All right, guys, coming around to the interior. I feel like this is worth mentioning, but a lot because a lot of people don't know about this and what this thing does exactly. So I don't know if you guys can see these three buttons right here. These three buttons allow you to open and close your garage. So basically, you can, put, you can program this to your first garage. You can program this to your second garage, for example, and you can program this to like the gated community that you go in. You can go ahead and unlock that as well. This is an absolute pain to set up, but it's super cool to have. And obviously, if it's a car you plan on keeping, definitely worth programming those. And then a hidden feature is right here. So normally, there's a plastic piece piece that's normally covering this spot right here. When you take off that plastic piece, you're exposed to the roof. Sometimes this roof goes bad, the motor goes bad, and you need to close your roof. So the way to close it is by putting an Allen key up here, turning it counterclockwise, and that will go ahead and lock and unlock your roof. So that's super cool, super handy. But yeah, off to the next feature. The next feature are these side mirrors. So what's super cool about the side mirrors, if you leave the button on this side and you go ahead and throw it in reverse, this mirror right here starts tilting downwards and you can actually see the ground in the lane that you're going. If this button was on this side, nothing happens here. And if you put the car in reverse, that mirror won't go down so uh that's like a thing if you guys want if you guys want the mirror to go down just have this button on this side if you don't want it to go down just leave it on this side and you're good to go another really cool thing took me a real long time to figure out is that if you click this button right here so this is like the rear window i don't know if you guys know if you guys have the convertible model there's a rear window right here and you can kind of open that kind of like a lamborghini which is super sick so if you go ahead and click on this button right here and click this now you see how that's activated if you go ahead i don't know if you guys can see the rear window i can go ahead and open it and close it now. So if you guys have a super loud exhaust and you're trying to hear it with all your windows open, you can literally just hear the exhaust, which is super sick. Or if you just want a little bit of air from the back, again, open it like that, go ahead and roll it back up, super sick. Another really neat way, in most cars, you have to roll up every single window individually and you have to roll down every single window individually, but, in this car, you can go ahead and click this button, and if you click it once, it click this. You can go ahead and roll down all windows at once, and roll up all windows at once, which is super cool. This, they should honestly have in all cars. This is a super neat feature, and also I just found that out making this video, so, uh, cool. And this feature is not really for everyone, but I didn't know this car came with a heated steering wheel. The button's right here. For, for most 3 Series, the button's over here somewhere. So you guys can probably look in your car and see if you have a heated steering, but the button is right here. It's not on the steering wheel or anything like that. It's not over here. It's literally hidden right back here. So if you guys see from a front angle, you can't even see. Like you will never even know until you actually look back there. And yeah, I have a heated steering function. It's right there. Now there is a little hidden feature here that uh, kind of gave me nightmares. And that is this little key guy right here. So if I go ahead and put my key right in here, here what happens when I go ahead and lock this. You guys heard that? Yep, that's this glove box locking and unlocking. It actually locks this glove box, I mean the center console, and actually locks the trunk. Reason for this, this is considered the valet option. So you can go ahead and lock this to where the, the, the valet can no longer access any of your private stuff. Whatever's in your trunk, he cannot access it. Whatever's in your center console, he cannot access it, which is super cool. But if you lose your key, 
you are screwed. You cannot act on a console and you cannot access your trunk. And uh, the batteries in your trunk, so hypothetically, if you lost your key, you need to jump it or anything like that, um, it's just, it's a mess and a half. Now, I know a lot of these cars come with the valet key to where you don't actually have to use this key. And uh, yeah, if you have the valet key, that's great. But if you buy the second hand, um, I, like me, I bought a second hand and the valet option was actually locked um, and I didn't have the cutout on my key. For some reason, this was my key that came in the car and it wasn't even cut out. So yeah, I had to go down to BMW. I had to show them my pink slip. I had to show them registration. I had to show them everything. ID and then they went ahead and ordered me a key and they couldn't even guarantee it would open but they they said yeah here's a new key so I, thankfully it worked it was only sixty dollars but it, it could be an absolute nightmare I thought my trunk was broken I thought my center console was just messed up another cool feature that this is the thing that I do kind of like is when you lock the door from the key and you leave the car if someone tries to break it and try to steal things from your car this center console will not open if the doors are locked so most cars when you break it you can go through everything and just take everything and get this car you cannot go through the center console so you guys can put all your prize positions in here and if some and if you lock the door if someone tries to break in they cannot access your center console which is super cool i think it's the first car ever noticed that has that so also if your iDrive is giving you any issues to reset the iDrive all you got to do is hold the eject button and this button right here and it will go ahead and reset Yep, and there you guys can see, it's going ahead and resetting that. So I'm gonna go ahead and let go right now. You guys can hear the system is fully rebooting. The screen should come up. So if you guys have any glitches, anything at all going on with your screen, you just go ahead and click the eject button and this power button right here. And bam, there you go, it's rebooting. And I, have to, I didn't click anything again. It just it was just rebooting itself. And it uh, should boot up and hopefully no issues will be uh, will go on. So yeah, if your screen is frozen like this and you wanna reset it, if your audio isn't working, you wanna reset it, that's a good way of doing it. You don't have to go down to BMW and just like that, we are good to go. And then last but not least, you guys can go ahead and roll up your windows with the key and roll down the window. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a roll down function, which I think is the absolute coolest. So if you guys are, you know, standing around the car and people are coming over to it, you can go ahead and hold the unlock key and uh, all the windows should roll down like every other car. But since this is a convertible, the top is literally gonna go ahead and unlatch. Give it a second here, guys. Just like that. You can go ahead and see the, I'm not even in the car. You can do this from outside the car. So you can show people, you can record this. This is all from the key. I think this is super dope. So uh, I think that I kept the I think I kept the best for last here. Now I don't know if it if it works the opposite direction without getting it coded, but I'm gonna go ahead and hold the lock button, see if anything happens here. No, so you will have to get that coded. But other than that, you guys can see the top is fully put down by the key, which is super sick. But anyhow, let's go put the top back on. Those are all the things I found on the first day. So let me know what you guys thought what the coolest feature was. I know this is a pretty short video, but I just wanted to do one of these hidden features video for the six years. I've done it for all the other cars. And this car had a few little neat things that I liked. I'm gonna go ahead and find some more quirks, hopefully down the road. But yeah, I thought those things were pretty cool. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to dedicate this video specifically just for the hidden features. It's probably gonna be short. It's probably gonna be end 10 minutes. You know, the goal of this video is to show you guys who are getting this car the features and cool stuff like that. So I don't want to extend this any more than I need to. So that's pretty much the end of that next video. I'm showing you guys what's actually going on with the 650i and the next car I'm getting. I'm probably going to get it today or tomorrow. So smash the like button if you guys have enjoyed this video. And let me know what feature you guys think is absolutely your favorite. First, just from the ones I mentioned, these are just features, not like specs of the car. So which feature do you guys think is the most unique? And uh, is there any feature you buy the car over? Let me know down below, guys. Without further ado, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.